In the part two of the White Snake biography we talked about this. The F.A. Hai wanted to take over Jean Shan Temple. He used evil magic to spread plagues and slandered Bai Sujin as a demon, imprisoning Su Xian in the temple. Bai Sujin and Little Ching went to rescue him but were attacked by F.A. Hai with the Green Dragon Chan stick. Let's move on to the rest of the story. They retreated to the edge of the Yangtze River. Bai Sujin pulled off a golden hairpin from her head, shook it in the wind, and the golden hairpin turned into a small flag with water patterns and waves embroidered on it. She gave it to Little Ching. Little Ching took the flag, raised it over her head, and shook it three times. In an instant, surging floodwaters rolled in, and shrimp soldiers and crab generals gathered in groups, pushing waves and helping the tide, rushing up Jin Shan Mountain together. The flood spread to the gate of Jin Shan Temple. F.A. Hai was in a panic. He hurriedly took off his robes and threw them out of the temple gate. Suddenly, a golden light flashed, and the robes turned into a long embankment, blocking the surging flood outside. The flood rose one foot, and the embankment rose one foot, the flood rose one zhang, and the embankment rose one zhang. No matter how tight the wind and fierce the waves were, the flood would never overflow the long embankment. Bai Sujin saw that she could not defeat F.A. Hai, so she had to tell Little Ching to withdraw the troops. They returned to the West Lake Embankment to practice and wait for the opportunity to take revenge. After half a month, Su Xian, who was unwilling to shave his hair to become a monk, finally found an opportunity to escape from Jin Shan Temple. He returned to the Baoha Tang Pharmacy, but he did not know where Bai Sujin and Little Ching had gone. The people had left and the building was empty. How sad he was. Afraid that F.A. Hai would come to trouble him again, he dared not stay in Zhenjiang and packed up some things to return to Hangzhou. Su Xian walked to the broken bridge by the West Lake. Looking at that big willow tree, the branches were still green. Thinking of himself and Bai Su Xin, a loving couple, were forcibly separated by F.A. Hai, he couldn't help rolling down tears and stomping his feet, crying, Wife, where can I find you now? Bai Su Xin and Little Ching, who were practicing under the broken bridge, faintly heard Su Xian's cry from the lake. They drilled out of the water, picked some tree leaves, blew immortal energy, turned them into a small boat, paddled the oars, and came to find Su Xian. The couple met again at the broken bridge. Recalling the scenes after the separation, it was really a mixture of sorrow and joy. The couple discussed staying at Qingba Gate, Su Xian's sister's house. Time flies, and the new year has passed in the blink of an eye. On the Lantern Festival, the White Lady gave birth to a chubby baby boy. Su Xian was delighted and couldn't stop smiling all day. Now let's talk about F.A. Hai. Since Su Xian escaped, he has not given up. One day, carrying three treasures, he left Jin Shan Temple to look for Su Xian and his wife everywhere. That day was Su Xian's son's one-month celebration. The Su family was busy preparing for the one-month banquet. F.A. Hai came to the door. He asked around the neighborhood and peeked in from the main entrance. He knew that Su Xian had become a father. The monk hated it so much that he secretly came up with an evil plan. F.A. Hai blew into his golden alms bowl and turned it into a golden phoenix crown inlaid with pearls and jade. He also wiped his face and turned into a peddler. He started yelling and selling the golden phoenix crown at Su Xian's door. Su Xian heard the yelling inside the house. Remembering that Bai Su Xin had lost all her hair accessories in Zhenjiang, he rushed out in a hurry and bought the golden phoenix crown that was glittering with gold and strung with jewels. Bai Su Xin was dressing up in the inner room. Su Xian brought in the golden phoenix crown excitedly. Standing by, looking at his wife's rosy, pretty face and jet black hair, he thought she looked better than before. When Bai Su Xin finished combing her hair into a bun, Su Xian put the golden phoenix crown on her head. But as soon as the golden phoenix crown was put on her head, it could no longer be taken off. The golden phoenix crown tightened around Bai Su Xin's head. Bai Su Xin felt such pain that stars flashed before her eyes, and she fainted on the ground. Seeing this, Su Xian was at a loss and panic. He rushed out to find the peddler to settle the account. Stepping out of the gate, he realized that he had fallen into F.A. Hai's trap again. F.A. Hai saw Su Xian flustered and irritated. He guessed that the trap had worked. 
he gave a sneer and strode inside. F.A. High broke into the room, blew on by Sujin's head, and the golden phoenix crown turned back into the golden alms bowl. The golden alms bowl emitted thousands of golden lights, completely encasing by Sujin. Little Ching came to fight desperately with F.A. High. Bai Sujin struggled and shouted, Little Ching, run quickly. Practice well and come back to avenge me. Knowing that he was no match for F.A. High, Little Ching choked back tears and fled. Su Xian knelt down and begged F.A. High bitterly. Bai Sujin's painful cries were heard inside the golden light, My lord, take good care of the child. Su Xian knew that begging would not save his wife. He could only hold the crying child from the bed and take another look at his wife. Bai Sujin had tears all over her face. She stretched out her hand to hold her own son but was blocked by the golden light. Under the golden light, Bai Sujin's body gradually shrank until finally she turned into a white snake and was collected into the golden alms bowl by F.A. Hai. Holding the golden alms bowl, F.A. Hai strode away arrogantly. Su Xian pounded his chest in anguish, crying bitterly. In Hangzhou City, F.A. Hai walked the streets and alleys, proclaiming everywhere that he had captured demons and monsters with high magical powers. He raised money to build a pagoda to suppress the white snake spirit. Soon F.A. Hai built a tower on the top of Leifeng Peak in front of Jingxi Temple in Hangzhou. This is the legendary Leifeng Pagoda. The monk kept the white snake under the tower and stayed in Jingxi Temple to guard it. Little Ching retreated into the deep mountains and practiced day and night without rest since leaving Hangzhou City, vowing to avenge by Sujin. Day after day, year after year, after many years, seeing that his skills had improved, he carried two swords on his back and returned to Hangzhou to find F.A. Hai for revenge and rescue by Sujin. Little Ching found Jingxi Temple and F.A. Hai. They fought fiercely under Nanping Mountain. They fought from dawn till dusk, from night till dawn, for three days and three nights without determining the winner or loser. The sounds of their battle shocked heaven and earth, awakening the sleeping Tathagata. The Tathagata was furious to find that his three treasures had been stolen by the turtle. He stepped on a lotus flower and rode an auspicious cloud to Hangzhou. Seeing F.A. Hai and Little Ching fighting fiercely, the Tathagata waved his hands gently. The Qinglong Chan stick flew out of F.A. Hai's hands into the sky. Losing the Qinglong Chan stick, F.A. Hai panicked. He hurriedly took off his cassock, wanting to wrap up Little Ching, but as soon as the cassock came off, a gust of wind blew it up into the sky. Then there was a loud bang, and Leifeng Pagoda collapsed. The golden alms bowl imprisoned inside also flew up into the sky. Bai Sujin jumped out of the tower and joined Little Ching to surround and attack F.A. Hai. Originally, F.A. Hai did not have much ability. He only relied on the Tathagata's three treasures. Now that the treasures had been taken back, he was no match for Bai Sujin and Little Ching. He could only fend them off while fleeing. F.A. Hai took advantage of the black smoke to escape into the sky and begged the Tathagata to save his life. The Tathagata hated his evil tricks and kicked him, sending him tumbling down from the sky. With a plop, he fell into the West Lake. Seeing F.A. Hai fall into the West Lake, Bai Sujin pulled a gold hairpin from her head, waved it in the wind, and turned it into a small banner to give to Little Ching. Little Ching took the banner, raised it above his head, and shook it three times. The water in the West Lake dried up immediately. The bottom of the lake faced the sky. F.A. Hai dodged east and west, nowhere to hide. Seeing a slit under a crab's abdomen, he pried it open and drilled in. The crab retracted its abdomen, trapping F.A. high inside, unable to come out. Originally, crabs walked straight, but after the overbearing F.A. high drilled into its belly, it could only crawl sideways. Since then, the crab's abdominal eye has become a slit. To this day, when we eat crabs and pry open their shells, we can still find the bald monk hiding inside. Alright, this is the end of the story of the white snake. Please subscribe to our channel, more content is continuously updated.